Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and I wanna keep the fall content going because I'm feeling very fall, it's very gloomy outside. It is that time of year where everything is just perfect. And to keep the fall theme going, I wanted to show you a look that I've been doing almost every day that I wear makeup during the fall. I was used to wearing a lot of color during the summer and now I transition into a little more muted, something a little simpler and I am just so excited to show it to you guys today. This is literally a flattering look on everybody. It's so easy. It's my go-to on days that I wear makeup. It's just a no-brainer to be completely honest with you. It's such a nice look. I love it. I wear it all the time and I just wanted to show it to you guys because maybe you need some fall look inspo. Maybe you're looking for something quick that you can do every day. It's perfect for meetings. It's perfect for errands. It's perfect for everything. Let's just get to the look because I know that's what you're here to see. Let's go. Okie dokie, so as always, we're starting with the eyes. This is such a stupid, simple look. It's kind of a one shadow look with a little bit of liner, so it's gonna be super quick. Let me just apply a little bit of concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal on the inner corner, a trick that I've just been doing because I like to do my eyes first. Okay, and after that, now will be the step that I usually go in with a primer, but today I'm using a ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow, which I haven't used in a long time, so I just needed to bring it back into my collection. I have a you know full collection of those, and I don't use them all that much. So I just wanted to bring one back. Today I'm using the shade Crimper, which is this just like goldy, shimmery shadow that's so pretty. It's perfect for my skin tone. And uh, with these, I never need a primer. They last all day. They're super shock shadows, so they're really pigmented and they don't crease on me. So here's what I'm gonna do. This is where the look gets so stupid simple, but it adds a little bit of something to your look. Like this is why it's worth it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this and I'm first just gonna put it all over my lid. And when I have less product on my finger, I'm gonna bring it up, so I'm gonna go into the inner corner here and just bring it up and blend it into the crease. And you see how instead of just going into like the inner corner and leaving it there, I'm grabbing like the whole area. So I'm putting the color in the whole area here and something about that just like lifts my eye so, so much. Like it's insane. It looks so cool. You can virtually do this with any eyeshadow. It can be cream, it can be powder, it can be any eyeshadow, any color. And it's just such an easy look. Like it took me seconds to blend out. Okay, so once I have some of this eyeshadow everywhere, you can barely even tell. I think it's because of the light, but it's very shimmery. The gold isn't too pigmented, so I just love that. And look at that inner corner. It just brightens everything so much, and because I have like a darker, you know, I have pigmentation there, it just hides it so, so well. You can do it with any shimmery shadow. I recommend keeping it something close to your skin tone for the effect. You can also do it with super colorful shimmers, but I feel like for a maximum effect and for maximum ease, using something neutral close to your skin tone would work best. After we've done that and it's a little messy and we can clean it up with our clean fingers, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And I'm gonna go into my tight line and just tight line the outermost corner. And then I'm gonna do like a mini, mini wing. And by doing this, I just kinda elongate my eye in a very easy way. It doesn't have to look perfect. It's a mini wing and I find that when I do it with brown, you guys know this is my favorite brown, everything just looks so much better, like more natural. Okay, so after tweaking the wings and one always looking better than the other one, we can move on to mascara. I've been loving the Lancome Lash E Doll Mascara. It's really good. It's kind of in between natural and dramatic, depending on how much you apply. And you know, this is definitely all up to you. I'm just adding a few coats of this to the lashes. Okay, and once I've applied some mascara, the eyes are complete. Easy as that. So for the face, I want to keep it very natural. You know, this is more of a daily look for me, so I'm a natural coverage gal. A little emphasis on the blush because you guys know I'm obsessed with blush. But for the most part, it's just kind of my simple everyday base routine. I don't go in with primer. I kind of use my skincare as a primer. And then I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I use two different shades. I use very light and light, and I mix them. These have been my jam lately. I freaking love them. Kind of go into where I need the most coverage, even though this is just super light coverage, but I go there first with my finger, 
apply it. And this is super easy to spread around. And then I'll just go in with a sponge and blend everything out. And because this is such a light coverage product, you can definitely see some of my redness, my blemishes are still showing through. I don't mind that, it's kind of a look for me. But if you want more coverage, you can definitely go in with something that has a little bit more coverage. But for now, I'm just gonna go back into my LA Girl Pro Conceal and conceal the rest of my under eyes because they sure do need that. And because I did a super light coverage base, I can go in a little more uh, intense with the concealer. Okay, now to set everything, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, good. Now we're moving on to the cheeks. As I previously mentioned, I want to add quite a bit of emphasis on the blush, but I still need a little bit of bronzer just to add a little bit more dimension to the face, bring some color back now that, you know, the sun is non-existent. I kind of need it. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 20M, one of my favorites, and just... Boop it wherever I apply bronzer. Okay, now the most exciting part, the blush. I'm using the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette in Rosewood. It's this beautiful color. It's super pigmented. It's creamy, but not too creamy. It's just perfect, and it's a perfect, like, rosy terracotta. It just gives me fall vibes. I don't know why. It gives me fall vibes, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. Try not to concentrate it on the apples of my cheeks. I usually do apples, but I kind of want to try the just in this area to see how it elongates my face. Oh, wow. This is pigmented. Let's just blend that out because it's super pigmented. I don't know if I love that look of like just on the outer corner. I feel like it's a little incomplete. So let's just bring a little to the apples. Why the hell not? There we go. For highlighter, let's go back to ColourPop again. I'm using the Super Shock Cheek uh, in Lunch Money. This is a little intense. More intense than I usually go for highlight. So I'm just applying a tiny bit of this to the highest points of my cheek, just to make the cheekbones pop. Okay, I like that. Now before I go and do my brows, I'm just gonna go into the Milk Hydro Grip Set Plus Refreshed Spray. Okay, now for brows, I wanna keep it super simple. I'm just gonna go into the NYX uh, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and Brunette, add a few strokes where I feel like I need to, and then I'm just gonna set. And to set, I'm using the one and only Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And this is just gonna set the brows completely. Last but not least, we have the lips. Lips in the fall, like lip products in the fall, are everything to me. This is a time when I'm really able to use all my terracotta orange colors that I just love so much. So this is my favorite time of year to wear lip products. So I have three of my favorite lip products here. Okay, these are my favorite, three of my favorite lip products for fall that haven't been discontinued because I have a lot that have been discontinued and that breaks my heart, but these haven't. So I just want to show them to you guys and we can pick which one I'm going to wear today. The first one I have here is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in Teacher's Pet. I really love this formula because it's kind of like you're getting color, but it's blurred and it's sheared out. You see that? It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. I love this one so much. Next, we have the one and only ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Ziggy. This one is unreal. Look at that. Look at that. It is like the perfect brownie orange terracotta. It truly speaks to me. I love it. And you can wear this like full out or you can tone it down and make it a little bit less um, intimidating. And last but not least, we have MAC Diva. This is the only like vampy berry uh, lip color that I really use. I love it. Love the formula. Love the color. You can't even see it's out of focus. There you go. It's just great. It's such a great formula. I love it a lot. And it's, uh, this is truly like fall in a lipstick. I think I'm going to go for the next one it's the most subdued and I just I love the color you guys orange is truly my color for fall so I'm gonna line my lips with the Make It Forever Artist color pencil and then we're gonna fill them in with a NYX lippy
Okay, and there you have the lip. It's perfect. It's the perfect like muted orange. It's everything to me, truly. I love it and it's so comfortable to wear. Ugh, ugh. Fall look completed, you guys. It's unreal, I love it. And if you want something more vampy or you want something nude or red or whichever color you wanna use, this goes with that. This look is perfect to pair with any lip color, depending on if you want to be more intimidating one day or maybe you're going out for dinner or whatever or if you want to be a little, you know, just a little gloss and good to go. This look can do it all, so I'm pretty stoked. Okay guys, so here is an up close of the look. I think here you can see a little better what I was talking about with the inner corner thing. It just brightens everything up. I, I love it. I love that look. I'd, I've seen it before, but I hadn't tried it until now and I think it rocks super easy. If I wasn't explaining this, I could have done this in like 10 minutes, truly. It looks amazing. It looks unreal. It's fall in a look. It's fall on my face. And that concludes my fall go-to look. I told you guys it would be super easy and quick. Anyone can do it. You can play with the lip color. You can play with the blush. You can play with the eyes. So it's such a customizable look. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Please let me know in the comments. And also let me know if there's any other fall content or just video ideas that you guys want to see from me. Bring me the inspiration and I will deliver. And if you're super into easy and real makeup and beauty content, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every single week and I would love to have you be a part of my little internet family. Thank you so, so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you had fun. I had tons of fun and I will see you right here for my next one. Bye, everyone. Mwah.